Hello, welcome everyone to the fifth 10 minute Bible talk video journeying through Psalms 1. Today, um, I will be discussing Psalm chapter 1, verse 2, and part B of verse 2, which reads, And in his law doth, doth he meditate day and night. So, what we'll do is I'll pray. You can pray with me if you're watching this or listening to this. And then I'll read the entire Psalm 1, and then I'll start the clock for the discussion on verse um, Psalm 1, 2b. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we just thank you and we praise you, Lord God, for your word. We ask that you forgive us for all the sins that we've committed against you this day so far. We ask you, Father God, that you continue to work in us to will and to do your good pleasure. Continue to transform us into the image of Jesus Christ. Lord God, I also pray, say a prayer for those that are watching that are not saved. I pray, Lord God, that you will reveal yourself to them, Lord Jesus, in a special way. Give them a, a God encounter, a Jesus account encounter, Lord God, you, your type of encounter with them. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, that they may come into the life-saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, that they may give their life and their heart to you. In the name of Jesus, for those of us that are saved that are watching this word, we pray, Lord God, that we continue to grow in you, grow in your grace, grow in your love, your mercy, continue to bear fruit unto you. Let the words, Lord God, that we read today, the interpretation that you give us, O oh God, the rainbow word that you give us, let us not just be hearers and doers of, hearers of it, but to also be doers of your word, to live your word out. And we thank you and we praise you, Lord God, that every word that's planted, every word that's watered, yet you will give the increase. And we thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So, Psalms 1, I'll read. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. So remember we discussed what that word law means. In this context, talking about God's teachings, his ways, his instruction, his customs. And I'm going to start the timer now. I don't think we're going to get through this. We might, but remember, this is a chat, so you can always do deeper study. Okay, there's so much to learn about a verse. We can be learning about one verse for the rest of our life, because God can always reveal something more. We never stop learning with the Lord, but we do come to some truth, and we're able to live out the truth by His grace. So there we go. Okay, so in His Lord doth He meditate day and night. So I looked up the word meditate, and it's in the Hebrew is dogah. It's actually spelled H-A-G-A-H, but it's pronounced dogah. And it means utter in this context, utter, speak, muse, ponder, to ponder. And so I also looked up the word day, and it's your mom, and it means daily. And then I looked up the word night, it means night, <laughs> lay yield. So this blessed man. He meditates on God's teachings, God's instructions, God's customs, the law of God day and night. And uh, let me just speak for a moment. Um, I was thinking about this scripture in meditation. And what came to me was thoughts, thoughts. And we are bombarded with so many types of thoughts and people's perspectives. 
day in and day out. And we also have our own thoughts internally based on, you know, what we're probably going through in life, what we've read, what we've seen on TV, what we hear in music. It can shape our thought pattern. And you see this blessed man, his meditation is on God's teachings day in and day out. And how is that possible? Like being human, you know, sometimes my thoughts are things that I'd rather not have. Like sometimes I think thoughts can be harmful. Like I don't know if you've had a flashback or, you know, you probably have your human or just a thought comes to mind and it, you know, it brings some type of pain, some type of sorrow, some type of uncomfortability. And I was talking with my husband about this. And right now I'm just, I'm sharing like, you know, from my heart as what the Lord leads me to share. And it's very transparent because somebody watching this, it's like, I don't want to give you a bunch of fluff and just be throwing scripture at you and not make this relative. I was talking with my husband and we were talking about like the thoughts that bombard people. And I said, you know, every negative thought that we have not we doesn't mean that we want to have those thoughts and it's a the scripture that came to mind when i was talking with him is um second corinthians 10 5 and let me go there and then finish sharing what um, i was saying second corinthians 10 5 one second Ten five, it says, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captive every thought to the obedience of Christ, and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your disobedient when your obedience is fulfilled. And I was talking to my husband about casting down these negative thoughts. And I know there are times that it was just so hard because it was like relentless. These negative thoughts, you know, the fiery darts of the enemy, or even sometimes my own thought patterns. I'm not going to just attribute everything to the enemy and not deal with my own heart and the way I perceive things. And it was so pervasive and so hurtful because I knew it was a sin against God. And I was sharing this with my husband, and I said, we know to cast down these thoughts, but sometimes it's hard because it's relentless and you get tired. It's like, it's a war. It literally is a war against negative thoughts because we're bombarded with it all the time in this society. And one of the ways I was discussing with my husband, I said, I know we have to be in the word, read the word, you know, read the word, you know, and the more you read the word, it's in you. So the Holy Spirit, he brings it to your remembrance. Like you can have a thought about something and he counteracts it. Like, okay, you know, for ex just for example, oh, you know, I need some money. I'm allowing my taxes. And then, you know, the scripture will come about not lying and trusting God, you know. The other thing that was on my heart to share and I shared with my husband was like about praying and asking God for the strength to cast down these thoughts, the strength to just keep casting out and to keep persevering and warring and fighting a good fight of faith the the, the to keep the, the the strength to do that when you are bombarded and when it seems like it won't stop because we cannot do it in our own strength like as much as we may want to you know if if we're not operating in God's strength, it's not going to be possible. Like at some point, even with the greatest willpower, the person will bottom out. And I want to share an experience. This is before I was married and I know this is going to bless someone and I'm sharing it. I remember I had an interest in someone and all of a sudden out of nowhere, I just was attacked about a romantic setting with them. And lo and behold, okay, it started off nice. We was at the table talking. But at that moment, I knew, I was like, wait a minute, this is going to go left. And when I tell you, images started popping in my head about being this in, the, in an intimate way with this person. 
I had to cast it down. And now it was so funny because in that moment, I had a choice. I had a choice where I, if I was going to romanticize that idea and just go with the flow of that thought, or if I was going to say in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And literally I felt like I was holding on to a, uh, say like, if, I can't explain, like I was holding on to God, like, God, no, don't let me go. Because that thought was like a wave. It came and it wanted to take me somewhere. But I knew I had to make a choice. It was a choice. And I, I can't even tell you, it was like time stopped. And it was like God was saying, are you going to go with this choice and go with this thought of being in this intimate um, position with this person? Or are you going to look to me? I knew if I would have went somewhere with that thought, okay, yes, God would have forgave me. But it was time to say no, like I'm not going to let my I'm not going to do that. Like, I'm not going to sin against God and sin against my soul and sin against this individual committing adultery against God and my thought patterns with this person, with this individual. That's just an example. By the grace of God, it was like, I'm telling you, holding on for dear life. Like, no, 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 no. I will not think that. I will not think that. I will not go there. And it wasn't sitting on a crock pot. It was warring with the Holy Spirit. It was a war, warring with the Holy Spirit, not against him, but with him. And next thing you know, it stopped. There was this calm, the peace of God. So those thought, thoughts that come against come against us are thought, wrong thought patterns. God can change the wrong thought patterns. But the fiery darts from the enemy, when thoughts just bombard us, we can say, God, you know what? Holy Spirit, help me. There's another scripture I want to share, Philippians 4, Philippians 4, 8. Philippians 4, 8, because our meditation is of the Lord, is not on negative things. And I'm saying this prophetically. I'm decreeing it's of the, it's of the Lord. Our meditation is on his Lord day and night. Daily, I will think on the Lord. And think on things that are, as God says, let me read it right now. Philippians 4, 8, and his, this, or this, his law, his teachings, his customs, his instruction. Here it is right here. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, Think on these things. Yeah, so going back to this blessed man, look at the meditation. His meditation is of God's law day in and day out. And God tells us what things to, you know, to, to, to think on. And with that being said, I just want to say, you know, when our thought, when we are thinking on negativity, it's just about the amount of time, like, it's going to become actions. And, you know, they say actions become habits and habits it shapes your character. You know, another scripture I want to share is Joshua 1 8. Let me go there. Joshua 1 8. Right? And here's the Lord instructs Joshua. It says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all. That is written therein, for then shall, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Again, this blessed individual, their meditation is of the Lord day and night. And we we looked at that word blessed in Hebrew, and it's happy. I don't, when I have negative thoughts, I'm not happy. I don't know about you that's watching it, but one because I know like. It's not good. And, you know, when God gives you a heart after his heart, when God begins to show you his goodness and, he, and you know his word and he changed your heart, you're born again, you're just not going to be comfortable with sin. You're not going to be comfortable with negative thinking. It's going to hurt you because it breaks the heart of God and God plays his heart in, our, in ours. We, he, he, he grows us and matures us and we begin to 
um, love holiness and love his ways and love his customs and love his path. And so anything contrary begins to make us feel uncomfortable and know we cannot lose our salvation. And it does not mean we're not blessed in a bigger scheme of things, but a person that's constantly thinking negative will not be happy that blessed in that context, this, um, you know, and I know this word has different um, connotations. Also, to another scripture that I want to share is Psalm 63, 5. Let's see how much time we have. We are coming down to the wire. Oops. And like I said, this is just a Bible chat. So, of course, you can do further study. Okay. It says, my soul. Is it 63, 5? Oh, 63, 6. Okay, I'm going to start from five. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips when I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches. And even asking God to guard, guard our thoughts throughout the night. I think that's it. My time didn't sound. Asking God to... God, our thoughts throughout the night and throughout the day, you know, reading his word and getting his word in us and, you know, just praying, saying, Lord, you know, when I have negative thoughts, give me the strength to just cast this down. And if this is my way of thinking about something or if there's something going on in my heart and it's just not a fiery thought of the enemy, but the enemy is throwing something at me to see if he can find fellowship, deal with my heart you know, my secret thoughts, my hidden thoughts, and, you know, help me to think on things that are lovely or just a good report, your teachings, your customs, God, your ways. Amen. So uh, let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you and we praise you for your word. We thank you, Lord God, for the power of your Holy Spirit that enables us, O oh God, to do all that you've called us to do, to say, to think, Lord oh God, deal with um, our secret thoughts, um, hidden thoughts, hidden desires, O oh God, continue to give us the strength to meditate on your word and cast down anything that us that is unlike you. Help us to watch what we listen to, what we um, watch, and even our own words and um, the words of others, let us test it and let us not take in um, our hearts anything that is unlike you. And if it is done because sometimes things are done um, unintentionally, oh God, we just thank you, God, that you are able to cleanse our heart, cleanse our mind. And we are blessed, oh God, with the power, the strength and ability by you to continue to grow in you and think on you and meditate on you and your word day in and day out. And we thank you and we praise you. We give you all the praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pray that this blesses you um, in some way. God bless you and remember Jesus loves you.